Hi, my name is John. Welcome to another Sunday night nightcap. Tonight's nightcap, I finished that little pump off. I do the nut, uh, finish making the gland and show how it actually works. I've got an aluminium welding repair to do, some aluminium ramps. I show quite a bit of that and hopefully get some decent arc shots uh, like looking through the welding mask. There's some more names come in for the, the free draw, the monthly draw which is drawn on the first Sunday of every month. That's actually two and a half thousand names in here. Um, the idea is you send me an email with your name on it, your name goes into here. If it's drawn out, I send a prize away once a month. Uh, so really worthwhile prizes, absolutely free. Uh, just a little way of saying thank you for all the help and support I've had with this YouTube channel. This is a little brass pump we made in last week's video. And I left it where I had to put the 14 by 1 mil thread on there. I had a word with a lad who was 4 and he decided on 14 by 1 just for no particular reason at all. Now I have got a 14 by 1.5 mil tap. It'd be easier for me to make a nut with a tap and then screw cut that. So that's the tap. I've got a piece of brass left. So I'm going to make the nut out of that. I'm going to make the nut fairly deep because he wants to put some packing material into the nut, that's the idea of it, like a gland nut and then once I get it made I'll show you how the, the packing goes in and show you how it works drill for 14 by 1.5 is 12.5 running this nice and slow so it doesn't isn't big in Right there, nice sharp friends in there. Happy with them. Right, that's the nut done. Nice sharp threads in there. And now it's a case of machining the threads onto the end of the pump. Just had quite a pleasant surprise there. Yeah, the wife just brought us some nice fish and chips in. As it is lunchtime. It was totally out the blue, unexpected, but certainly appreciated. Let's have a look and see what this fish is like. 
that looks good. That's superb, really nice. Right next here, just to put some threads on there so they don't screw onto it. That's the, the tool I'm going to use. It's a 1.5 commercial screw cutting tool which is already on centre height I just need to set it nice and square to the job that's done by simply loosening off the, the tool post like that and just putting it onto something square like the, the face of that chuck that means that that tool has got to be in 90 degrees to the job everything's set up right now ready to cut the thread so I'm going to touch this off very gently Like that. Right, we're basically ready to start screw cutting. I do it nice and slow. So we can see what's going on. Right, here it comes. It's amazing how it speeds up when it gets near to the end. This is a 1.5mm thread gauge, which is spot on. I'll do one cut with a nice and close like that. Just about down to full depth now. Very near. This will be the last cut, I would think. Nice, very nice. Settle for that. This pump rod is a real good fit in there because that was a real hole. But the idea of the packing is it goes around here, the nut goes on, and it squeezes the packing tight onto that shaft, and that forms a really good seal. This is modern pattern, it'll be fiberglass glass impregnated with graphite. In the old days they used to use uh, asbestos. Asbestos is still used on some specialist applications. So all we do is take a piece off there, wrap it round, so many turns. Obviously the graphite gives it a, a lubricating quality as well. The nut goes over the top of there. Then the nut tightens down and it compresses the graphite. Feel it start to grip there. 
there's the ground weighs in, there's the packing weighs. You keep tightening it up, put more and more packing in until you get the, the sort of seal you want. So we can get a lot more packing in there now. See what's compressed it. And there must be a quarter of an inch there, but you could put some more on. It's an old fashioned way of doing things, but it works. It worked for a long time, it still works now. Got a good hole there now. But once that's been around for a while, it will slacken off. You'll be able to keep on tightening it up and putting more and more packing in. Then once it's run in and set up, it'll run for a long time without needing any further adjustment. This is a plan on a piston rod on this model steam engine, and that works exactly the same way. You tighten these nuts up and it pushes that part up and compresses the packing. That's a, a gland there on the valve rod and that's a gland on the, the piston rod. 